Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, I'm Christian, and I have today's word for the day for you. Today is a special day for the Crow family. 15 years ago today, God blessed my wife, Shelly, and I with the birth of our daughter, Cherish Noel. So I want to take this opportunity to say, Happy birthday, Cherish. Your mom and I do cherish every day we have with you, and we love you very much. Today's passage is also remarkable because it provides the foundation of God's church. We're going to be reading Matthew 16, 13 through 20. This is what it says. Now, when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they said, some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and others Jeremiah or one of the other prophets. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter replied, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven." Then he strictly charged the disciples to tell no one that he was the Christ. A few things stood out to me this time reading this story. Simon hadn't had years of 20th century Christian preaching or daily word for the day devotionals to inform his belief that Jesus was the son of the living God. No one in his peer group had told him this and neither had Jesus. But Simon stated this confidently before anyone else because God had revealed it to him. And that revelation is why Jesus renamed Simon to Peter, meaning rock, and then stated, upon this rock I will build my church. That declaration from Simon, now called Peter, became the foundation for the Christian church. Interestingly, this is the first mention of the word church in the Bible. Jesus is saying here, I will build my church on the profession or confession of faith that I am the son of the living God, the way to everlasting life. Jesus did not want Peter and his disciples to believe he was the Son of God just because he had said so. He wanted God to bring them to this conclusion based on the overwhelming evidence of prophecy being fulfilled through his life and teaching. The other element of this that blows me away is how flawed of an individual Simon Peter was, yet Jesus used him to propel his gospel to the world. I'm sure you'll recall that it was Peter who denied knowing Jesus following his crucifixion not just once, but three times, just as Jesus had foretold. So be encouraged. If Jesus built his church using a salty, gruff fisherman who denied knowing him, he can use you and me to lead others to a life-changing relationship with him. Have a great day.